You know, my handsome one. My sweet little sister-in-law sent me a little package. I've called in reinforcements to help me clean this house. Charlotte. Okay, so we're trying to get to the family restroom. Steve, <laughs> get me over the phone. Can't see where I'm going. What? What are you doing? Whoa. Yeah, Whoa. heading in. Took two of my kids to my friend's house and the other two to Steve's sister's house. They're in good hands and I feel really at peace about that and um, I'm kind of nervous but I've been like not sleeping with the pain for so long now that I'm like yeah I don't want to be in pain anymore. <laughs> yeah 10 days with a broken bone. I feel good about this is what's best so Creepy though, that I'm gonna be put to sleep. Well, we just got checked into the hospital. Gotta put your little gown on. <laughs> this little ankle is the last time you're gonna see it like this. My unscarred, swollen, painful ankle. For the life of me, I have no idea why they want me to wear this when they need that. Like, look, you've got it. That's all you need. <laughs> so weird. They gotta have. Having a baby, yeah, it makes sense, but getting ankle surgery. Yeah, so so I'm actually in the hospital right now. My wife had an accident in California. It's actually a long, a long story. Anyway, she she said SeaWorld as well was gonna splash her. She slipped, broke her ankle. So I'm actually in the hospital. I have some time to kill. She's in surgery right now. All right. How you feeling? Oh, how it go? You said it went great. Do you want me to let you kind of sleep a little bit? Yeah? Did the best snore? No, you're not snoring. That's the same thing. <laughs> it's okay, you can sleep. I go through metal, metal detectors with the air. Where's gonna be? They're gonna frisk you down and look for their hidden guns, huh? Got all this metal stuff. Well, a magnet stick to my skin. You know what my handsome was? This drug for me, I need it for Abram so he can sleep at 6 30. They should have just let me sleep on their own. We'll go to sleep right now. I don't know, so I was waking up. <laughs> we'll go to sleep right now. Well, babe, how do you feel? <laughs> New girl, new hardware. I need some more food on my dummy. Yeah, I agree. Well, I would highly recommend anyone coming out of anesthesia Zupa's cauliflower soup. It's perfect. And you can suck it through a straw so you don't want to sit up. And it's really yummy. Look at this cute little box I just got in the mail. My sweet little sister-in-law sent me a little package. Charisse, I want to come and throw my arms around you and do some laundry and chase your kids for you. I love you, love Amber. Isn't that so sweet? Chapstick mango butter, mm, kind of covered nut, I think. Caramelized almonds or something. That's what it looks like. She knows So me. good. I just listen to conference talks because it makes me feel really like peaceful. I'm trying to eat up all the numb leg. So sleepy, but I can't sleep. And Jeffrey, he gave me the best kiss too, huh? So this is the one thing Sharice wanted. Pumpkin pie, cheesecake, blizzard. Super delicious. Hopefully this makes her happy. How are you feeling? A lot better right now. This is all I it's... wanted. This is like all spirit I get from my bed. Can't really run around pumpkin patches, but 
I can eat pumpkin blizzards. <laughs> Thank you. So Sharice is in recovery right now and I need some reinforcements. I've called in reinforcements to help me clean this house. Charlotte, she's cleaning. Good work, Charlotte. You keep cleaning. See, I knocked this over and the kids thought it'd be fun to throw all the corn all around the house. So, I got my vacuum cleaner. I mean, I could vacuum it, but then I'd be wasting all the corn and Charlotte loves it, so. It's actually amazing. She's like really good and it really clean. She's normally an outside pig, but for right now, we're gonna let her be an inside pig. So there's one problem about letting your pet pig in your house. We had a pumpkin on the floor. Jeff, show us the pumpkin. This one. What does Charlotte do to it? Bite it, see? Oh man. I guess we're gonna have to cook a pumpkin today. When the anesthesia came off, my incision hurt so bad. The medicine wasn't even touching it. So we went to the emergency room and they gave me morphine and sent me on my way with stronger Man, medicine. what is it? A rainbow. That's purple, blue, orange. Where is it? Right there. Uh, What's this thing called, Jeff? A cactus. A cactus? No, no cactus. Oh. It's my rainbow cactus! Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Look at her. Doing the dishes. And Making got her foot up, because if it's not up, then it hurts. But she's doing the dishes to give me a break. And she's probably in a lot of pain right now. Look at that. Are you, did you take gymnastics, babe? Look at you, you're like balancing like crazy. She's like the master. The kids probably loaded most of that dishwasher. Okay. Okay, she didn't do any of it. Ephraim is stealing all the magnets off the fridge. There she goes again, doing her laundry. It's um, by the sliding door, by where we go out into the backyard. Grab it and bring it here real quick. Grace, what are you doing? Setting the table. Setting the table. You're, you're, so, Alan, set, set table. you're so creative. <laughs> you are what? What are you doing? I don't have hands. <laughs> here she comes. So, we're on our Friday night date. Hot date with my handicapped wife. And Steven's pushing me in a wheelchair around the mall. We're going to a movie, but it doesn't start real well. <laughs> and I'm just like holding my leg out. I got my pillow, my blanket, a camping chair to rest my leg on during the movie. You wished you were going to this movie with me, right? We just saw our dentist. His wife's like, are you okay? Yeah. Just yeah. needed to get out of the house. Oh yeah, 360. <laughs> oh babe, easy. This is more fun than I've had for a whole week. <laughs> this is what happens if you've been stuck in a house for... I really, I haven't left the house all week. We went to the dollar store for a few minutes and that about killed me because I was on crutches. She's getting a little tired. Purple. This is her first adventure out, <laughs> except for when we went to the emergency room. It's very exciting, the dollar store. Anything's better than home at this point. But we really need a handicap sticker, because, you know, pushing me in a wheelchair from the back of the parking lot is just not going to work. Okay, so we're trying to get into the family restroom with Steve getting over the phone. <laughs> and I got my pirate leg, so I'm just going to be a pirate. Yeah, look at that, pirate. I'm kind of going against the family theme, but how often do you have a peg leg named Peggy? Have I ever introduced you to Peggy? This I don't is Peggy. Think so. And we're headed into the doctor's office. They're gonna be taking my splint off. I'm gonna see my cut for the first time and kind of weirded out about that, but I'll also probably get an x-ray, make sure everything's healing well. It's been really hard to get along, especially the hopping. I just hop all the time. I'm tired of hopping. <laughs> 
This is the moment we've all been waiting for. The splint is being removed. I've been looking forward to this for so long. Thank you so much. How did you uh, break it in the first place? I slipped at SeaWorld. <gasps> oh, yeah, it feels so good. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like I've been like suffocated on my foot for so long. Look at it's that. Like a grandma. <laughs> it looks so gross looking. Ew. See that indents in my looks like foot? Looks like a granny foot in there. I like... know I haven't slept for two weeks. My Look poor at little that. foot's been suffocating. Is that real? I can move it. Nice. That. I can't believe how how much my calf has shriveled up. Like it's not just the skin, but like look at my calf difference. It's so small, like all the muscle just shriveled up. And it's only been like three weeks. Look at that. It's <laughs> so weird. I still this is still just tingly. I can't feel any of this. Which we hear is normal. Yeah, we'll our come friend's back. a physical therapist. So. Yeah. Can you believe how small my calf is? It's shrunk. I haven't walked on it. It's been less than three weeks. Like, uh, it looked like my grandma's skin and her calves. Like, I used to like do triathlons with these legs. <laughs> look at that look diameter. At that. And then look at this one. From here to here. That's crazy. Look at all that bruising. That is so sore. She touched that just for a second to move my foot in the right place and it hurts so bad. It has been so itchy and see that right there? Like this is where I can't sleep. It just feels like I felt this clamp on my leg all night. That's so crazy. And look how green and yellow. So they just got her wrapped up and the, it wasn't quite healed. The the incision wasn't quite healed as, as the way it should have been. So they got it all wrapped up. We're going to have to address it. It's really bloody. Twice a day. He had to cut out all this dead skin. That was really gross and it hurts really bad. And I have to like move my foot to a 90 degree angle, which stretches the skin that isn't there. So it's just like an open wound and I'm just, it's a lot of pain. Well, how do you feel, babe? I feel like discouraged, like I'm in pain. I feel like this is never gonna end. It is gonna end. You're gonna be just fine. Don't slip. That incision, I just kills. It's so gross. <laughs>